All right, here's the AST-300 flight training device. This one here is quite old, and as far as I can tell, it's probably from the late 80s. Uh, it's pretty much complete. I think I have just about everything for it. Unfortunately, it has been neglected uh, for quite a while. Uh, it has mostly simulated instruments, although the HSI it appears to be a real uh, Bendix unit. Of course, the clock is real. It's, it's easy. The radios look real. Uh, I think they may actually be authentic face plates and probably authentic displays. However, if we grab the, one of the instruments here, aha! It's just a circuit board. That will hopefully make the radios easy to interface. Uh, from the front, you can't tell. They look really good. So I'm looking forward to getting those working. We've well, got our engine instruments over here. There's some simulator controls. Uh, kind of a basic throttle quadrant. It's not super awesome. I would put it not quite on par with PFC. The yoke is pretty good though. It has a good feel to it. It's a good heavy metal yoke. Tonight I just have the starter console and the rudder pedals hooked up. Let's take a quick walk around here. And then we can see the power supply. And I had to cut a couple wires here. I basically had to hot wire the simulator because I don't have the key. It's one of the things I did not get. There's our interface panel back there. I'm told this system runs on a Motorola 6800, so that's some pretty old stuff. Let's walk around to the back real quick, on the pilot side. Some of these instruments are pretty simple. The airspeed indicator has two wires going to it, which means it's probably just a, a DRSN volmeter, so it would be very easy to interface. The HSI has some kind of driver board up here. I'm assuming that's to take you know, simple logic signals and convert them to whatever the HSI uses. You can see our trim system back here, which is pretty cool. I'll show you that later. This board here seems to have something to do with the elevator trim. Now, a compass is pretty cool. I believe this is a real compass. What they've done, let me just grab it here. On the back here, if you notice, compass, like I said, it looks like it's probably the real thing. On the back, we've got a little bar magnet attached to a cog that's driven probably by a stepper motor. So if you look, as I rotate the thing, it really doesn't move. But if I grab the gears back here, look at that. That's yeah, pretty slick. So I'm looking forward to getting that working. And probably do try to make something similar for my saber liner. Now, one thing about simulators, they're kind of like pets. If you leave them alone and neglect them for too long, they go crazy. And this one's no different. Let's go ahead and fire it up real quick. Sad. It is totally nuts. I also have no power to my radios. Now I've got a couple of instruments that are lighting up. This one you can't really tell, but the backlighting work is working on that one. The clock is back, back uh, backlit. I guess all the aerobatics have our fuel level bouncing around. <laughs> Looks like it's. Not real steady. Master switch, uh, avionics, and electrical master have no effect. Gear lights are out. Uh, engines are kind of interesting. Looks like we have power to our left engine here. Even though the mixture is pulled back and the magnetos are off. <laughs> they seem to have no effect. 
Now we do see that we're showing no fuel flow, but if I run the mixture forward, oh, there we go. There's full power. Up. Oh, no fuel, but yet our engine is still apparently running. Right engine seems to have seems to be totally dead and it doesn't do anything. Prop, prop lever works in the left engine. You can see that having an effect. There we go. Now the mixture lever, as I said, the right engine is totally dead. However, if I move the right mixture handle. The airspeed moves. In fact, it goes negative. Don't ask me how that is happening. I have no idea. It doesn't make any sense. Like I said, the simulator is, has kind of lost its little mind. You can see that the uh, altimeter looks really nice. If I change the pressure setting here, look how smooth that is. That's very, very nice. So I'm looking forward to interfacing that instrument. And the instructor console does have some effect. I'll go ahead and turn it on here. I don't think it actually gets power, it's just a bunch of switches and knobs. Our nav system seems to be trying to do something. If I fail nav 2, notice our OBS is kind of looking strange here. But if I fail nav 2, the OBS stops working. So. Like I said, it's kind of it's kind of a zombie right now. It's some things are kind of working, some things are not. Now, one thing that is kind of sort of working, which is pretty cool. Notice we have a Cessna style trimming wheel here. If I move that, watch the yoke. They're mechanically linked, which is pretty nice. Now, to top that off, we also have electric trim. Watch this. I am not moving the yoke, that's the trim system. It's not working 100%, but you get the idea. Oh, that's my assistant over there. He's enjoying himself. Anyways, that's kind of where we're at right now. The pedals are interesting. They look pretty authentic. Um, they have, of course, obviously the they have rudder control there. It looks like they have brakes, but when I got to look at it, I realized there's nothing hooked up to the brakes, so that's just for effect. Probably won't be too hard to mount something here, maybe a Hall effect sensor, and uh, get brakes working. Anyways, that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm looking forward to getting this thing running again. I'll probably be taking out all the old electronics and running it with, you know, a modern computer and Arduinos and whatnot. Hope to have everything you see on this panel interfaced X-Plane. So, pretty cool. I have the full enclosure for it. It has a, I guess, a plastic enclosure. And I've got the seats. This is the pilot seat there. It's actually in pretty good shape if I can keep Mr. Assistant here from scratching it. There we go. And there's the glare shield. I've also got a couple of old terminals and even the plotter for it. Now it also has a, a basic visual system. It's an old TV with a, a mirror and a lens and it looks kind of cool so I'll probably play with that. Well, that's it for now.